previously on Horrible Film Recaps. Do you have any uh, doxycycline? Why did I have that second carton of bees? Are you sure this will fix my eyesight? And now on to our feature presentation. The title of this movie is... Wait, where is it? Here it comes. Now, Mr. Spock. Thank you, Captain. A movie opens during a city-wide celebration. Carl has finally collected enough balloons to lift his home in order to participate in a rising real estate market. Children and adults alike stare in wonder as he soars into the... Oh my! Balloons are everywhere! Where did that come from? Is that a shield helicarrier? Full of snake soldiers? <gasps> it's raining, man! Yeah, not no more of it. People are panicking. If only there were an elite team of soldiers with code names and outfits based on a single personality trait. Ah, there they are! Speed character development was essential in the cocaine fueled era of children's programming. Here's their leader. A uh, Mr. Ass, my thing is, I have a butt. Ooh, look at my butt. My butt can talk. Leonardo DiCaprio hands foil face a microwave full of foil and popcorn. Now to deliver my Orbital Lit Factor delivery of doom. Mr. Ass doesn't eat popcorn and so returns it to its home. from America and I do, I do, I'm American. That seems like a considerable amount of effort just to pose for a group photo. But all right, the Cobra King decides to address his soldiers. Who designed this uniform? I look stupid. It was essential for the branding. We discussed this. I asked for Boaz, but I meant feathered, not this. You asked for snakes and we delivered. We even included the stupid capes. Why was it surgically attached? Oh, we don't have time to worry about who violated Hippocratic Oath here. We all look stupid. He's right. I look like Sigistardus. My look screams Daria as a dominatrix. At that moment, the Cobra Club's only guard who isn't on break is attacked. This raises the station alert status to Ruby Rod. Every five minutes there's something a bomb or something! I'm leaving! <laughs> The intruder almost succeeds, but her boots are made for falling. Hooray! This spot is now street pizza! Good. I'll sit back down then. However, the other intruder is still very much alive and armed with accessories so cool. We still haven't seen a decent action figure of her yet. I mean she has acid claws. Scarecrow gas dispensers, alien face huggers, and microwave gloves. And this dreck is what Hasbro released. She's right. Let's all go start a letter writing campaign right now. You start our needlessly slow door closing procedure. Yes, sir. Wait, what is Carl doing? They're fucked more than anything that I've ever fucked before. Those doors don't look slow to me, but what do I know? Getting bored here. Is this a security breach or a poetry slam? Not wanting to bore the Supreme Serpent, she ups her parkour game. Careful! I have a backpack full of snakes. Let me slip out of this hefty bag. Are you my mom? Um, no, but I'm cosplaying as Metroid Fusion Samus. Hey, I'd prefer Justin Bailey myself. Hmm, I bet you do. Want to see what's in my pocket? Careful! We like to keep these recaps PG. Settle down there, Snake Boy. It's just a MacGuffin. I see. This is the big electronic toaster. It's a device that allows... allows... toaster strudels to be prepared for an entire regiment in no time. It also microwaves a mean steak. Wow. We Joes actually appear in the G.I. Joe recap. I don't know who you are. Mr. Ass suddenly gets inspired. This is my time. I can do this. Wrong, wrong, wrong mistake. 
This is awesome. My stakes are ready. I just killed 30,000 people. Oh, sh Guys, the plot caught up with us. And people said the cape was a safety hazard. I look awesome. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ooh, steaks. Those steaks are mine and all appropriate side dishes. Did you hear that? We've got to protect the cob salad and cheese curds. I am not prepared for this sort of anarchy. Hey, foil face, you grab the baked potatoes since they're wrapped in the skin of your people. Keep nodding until he goes away. He can't hear interior monologue. Hey, metalhead, why don't you grab the canned peaches since they're as tinny as your brain sounds? Why does this gun fire lasers and also eject shell casings? Do the bullets contain tiny lasers? He's right. It makes no logical sense. Perhaps it- Watch where you're going! It's all f over. Nothing is over until I get my toaster. Pretty boy, weirdo. Weirdo, um, now I'm taking the potato salad too. Yes, I'll have to rely on my charm and quick reflexes to make a swift getaway. F*** you, dude! F*** <laughs> Ah, you done! Not so fast, Mr. Heine. <laughs> go, go, Snake Spear. I'm leaving. Now to rush into an obvious trap. Ah! No! No! Hey, bro! You look f***ed. Did that just happen? That was anticlimactic. Let's just leave, man. I could really go for a burrito supreme. Taco Bell, it's like a terrorist attack in your colon. The last time Cobra did a Taco Bell run, they stole all the fire sauce. Let's get him. I'm gonna drop a cholo pie! After a quick fourth meal, the reptilian ruffians find themselves lost on the way home. There, they see a familiar face. You could have at least brought me a Baja Blast. No matter, I've brought you something. And what could you offer us? We're already full of pintos and cheese. The next plot point. And here I thought we'd lost the plot. Meanwhile, inside an overpriced chunk of plastic, Flint, that toy line is getting stale. This is a problem. Could we just change our clothes or release some paint variants? No, that's evil, but not cynical enough. Get some fresh faces and send them to that not a ninja guy. What's his face? Sandhead. Welcome to the recap. I'm not going to bother to learn your names because I'm only in this one scene. Meta humor? What are you, some forest green Deadpool knockoff? I'm just establishing your worthless existence for the YouTube nerds. Wow, rude and meta. I'm sorry, YouTube nerds, but now you know not to get attached to these clowns. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Man, prison sucks. At least they gave me a throw pillow. He just destroyed a pillow. I spent weeks sewing that. That's disrespecting fine needlework! My third cousin was a pillow! Cobra arrives to find the guard on break. During times like these, my English professor would say... In the words of the celebrated poets and imminent social commentators, the fun-loving criminals, stick em up, punk, we're the fun-loving criminals. Go get him, big guy. Mom, okay. What are you? I'm Batman. Okay. Wings are cooler than capes. <laughs> Pork chop sandwiches! <sighs> Sorry I was late. <laughs> I was getting fitted for my plot armor. Your dereliction of duty allowed Snake Face to escape. Take this goofy goober to the action for scamp. Maybe they can use him. The cheap knockoff Joes? No. Meanwhile, back at the freaky forest. The cap me. I'm a giant floating gas bag. I'm flying through a sexy door. I don't want to be a bus no more. Get off, you freaky freeloaders. Let's never speak of that again. Well, that was nonsensical. I guess I'll walk on some bugs. 
After the gas bag bus, I'm afraid to see what shows up next. I am Golobulus, junior comptroller of this domain. Yo, what's up with the abdominal bulge? Is there some kind of alien pod growing inside your body, or are you just hoarding too many galactic snacks? Well, I ate too much lightning, and now I'm waiting to crap thunder. Think about it! The medical implications are mind-bending. Will epic flatulence really get you published? You're right! On second thought of a trumpet isn't medically significant, just gross! And now to tell you of my evil plan to mutate the populace so all us freaky, freaky wackadoos can also go outside. Pythona, if you'll handle the fantasy sequence, please. Using a special blend of cobras, asparagus, popcorn, and Red Bull, we've successfully bred trees that will launch mutagenic Jiffy Pop into low orbit. With the power of the big electronic toaster, we can release enough of these toxic popcorn kernels onto the population. Once the people mutate, Golobulus can go to the park without his ugly, pulsating eye drawing attention. There, he will feed many ducks and pigeons. Have you tested this strangely tasty-sounding concoction yet? I'm about to. Bring me a volunteer. We found one, your ball sackiness. Is this about that five bucks I owe you? No, this is about science. Yes, science. I hate Mondays! <laughs> Careful, I don't think I have bones anymore. The bone and scaly, huh? Might need to adjust your formula. I think we'll dial back the Cobras about 80%. Oh, for the love of... Put them in with the rest of my action figures. Do you guys have any calcium supplements on you? All right, it looks like it's time for us to play, too. When they open the doors, everyone help me escape. There's a place to sacrifice our freedom so Roadblock can escape. I get away, too, but it's cold outside and I have no shirt. Thank you, noble chump. Now, too. Excuse me, but can you help a poor, boneless lizard man? Why not? I have enough bone for both of us. Let's get to hugging. That was weird phrasing, but okay. Batman attempts to pursue, but the fleeing twosome use the emergency exit. Enough of this. Let's go get that toaster. Meanwhile, Foilface seems to have broken his helmet and inquires. My voice has changed. Do I still have my monobrow? Um, no. No, you don't replies Roadblock. P.I. Joe will return after these messages. In our next episode, Scarlet becomes a slave to Cobra, and she and Selina lead a slave rebellion. While Dr. Vandermeer completes the mass device, and the Joe T. blocks his deadly combat with Cobra and Destro, all in a stake in the serpent's heart, the final exciting episode of G.I. Joe. Well, that's never happened before. I guess we'll have to wait until tomorrow, which is in about five minutes. Weird, but okay. If you found wonderment, bewilderment, or simple old-fashioned recreational distraction from the preceding act of visual word salad, then please leave a like, leave a comment, perhaps tell your friends, co-workers, and clergy about the fantastical weirdness residing in our humble channels.